All right, hi everybody. Um, so I'm going to show you some strum patterns that we talked about. If other people see this, hopefully this helps you too. Um, so this is just basic, basic strumming um, beyond straight quarter notes. So the first way you know you can play things are like. So this would be just quarter notes. Um, I'm using a very common chord progression, uh, one, five, uh, six, four, um, like we used in, like, say, Wagon Wheel, but it's in lots of tunes. Um, so then what you can do is, so those are quarter notes, one, two, three, four, etc. One, two, three, four. Okay, so um, then keep in mind the downstroke is always one. It's on the beat. It's where your foot is down if you're tapping. Um, so the end is the eighth note, and that's when your foot is up in the air. So it's like one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four etc et okay so then you can apply this to a, a chord progression like we just did so it'd be like So that time I went G, D, E minor, C, and then the second time I went G, D, C, twice, C, C, because uh, that's how that particular tune goes. Um, okay, so then if you speed it up, it's... So notice that I can't help but beats two and four I accent. I almost always do this. There are times when you won't, but one and two and three and four and one, two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two and three and four, and two and three and four. Etc. Etc. And then you just etc. Etc. Um, all right. So practice that like crazy. You want to get so you can do this in your sleep. Um, most chord strums are more often than not are going to be some combination of eighth notes. Um, sometimes you'll have some ties where you miss. So you might have a quarter note here and there. Um, and later on, we may do, you know, you'll have sixteenths, especially on really slow songs. But once you get used to this, it's going to be very, very, very similar to um, to sort of get those. So um, or execute those, I guess. Um, so anyway. Um, the next thing you can do is you can miss the, the beat three strum. And it's very, very important that you don't stop. Your hand should think that you're playing what we were just doing. But, and this is, you're going to go one and two and three and four. that up 
a little bit. It's one and two and three and four. See my my hand, so it's like So if you play the tune, it'd be like Etc. Etc. Okay, so if you have any questions, please uh, let me know. Write a comment. Um, if you're one of my students, send an email, whatever. Um, but yeah, let me know, and hopefully that helps. Take care.